Hey turkey hunters, this is Larry Case with the Trail Less Traveled. Today we're going to do a little demonstration for you on a glass call and a slate call actually together. Uh, some people call it a pot call. This part of the call is known as the pot. And as you know, you have the glass or the slate here and generally have a wooden striker on this side to put against your call. Now these strikers come in 500 different materials now, as you know, all types of wood, fiberglass, uh, graphite, I don't even know all the types. So the striker, some people don't know, is very important. You're having a, the striker to fit your call. The striker is just as important as the pot or the call itself. Okay? So again, I have a little perfection uh, glass call here I'm going to show you from Jim Clay's PerfectionCalls.com and we're going to show you how to hold and run the uh, glass call. Okay, to start with the glass call, it's important how we hold it and again, if I'm right-handed, I'm going to hold the pot or the glass part in my left hand, and I'm gonna grip it about like this. It's important to think about don't have it flat in your hand like this. We wanna kinda of cup it in that hand and leave a space there for the sound to come out. This is where the sound basically be coming from out of the bottom of the call, and we don't wanna, we don't wanna block that off. So we're gonna grip it like this and leave a good uh, space right there. In, in my right hand, I'm gonna take the striker and I'm going to hold it about like I would hold a pencil if I was writing, something in this fashion. And I'm going to have it right on the edge of the uh, call. I don't want to have my hand out on this surface. It's going to deaden the call, and as most of you turkey hunters know, I don't want to get my hands on the glass or the slate because I'm going to get oil and whatever it is off my hands, and that's not good for this surface. This needs to be roughed up a little bit taking a piece of little sandpaper or emery cloth, as you know, and rough that up. And I'm gonna do that a little bit on the end of my striker as well, okay? So again, I'm cupping it here. I've got my hand right kind of on the edge of the call, and I'm gonna, as if I were drawing or writing on the surface, okay? So to do a yelp, just take a little bit of practice, and what you're looking for is a proper amount of pressure. Too much pressure on this surface, not going to be right, not enough, not, it, it, it just takes a feel for it. And again, you get to practice and all the people in your household will really love you for that by the time turkey season comes in. So to do a basic yelp, I'm going to draw like a little curly cue, as if you were drawing a pig's tail, okay? So it's going to be something like this, doing the curly cue on the surface of the glass. not too bad of a yelp, okay? So again, I'm, I'm determining how much pressure to put on it while I'm drawing on the surface, and it only comes with practice. So for the basic yelp. Not too bad, okay? Uh, another call you can easily get from, you get many calls from this uh, type of call, by the way, we're going to do our excited cutting or uh, clucking and cutting. This is the excited hen in the spring. You can really get that old gobbler fired up. So it's more aggressive, okay? And most of you turkey hunters know that can really get him going sometimes. You, of course, can intersperse that with a little yelping and more. Uh, that can really get him fired up. If you hear a turkey, a hen turkey doing this in the woods, you can pick up on this really fast. If you hear that hen doing that, imitate exactly what she's doing, call right back to her. And it's a, a really good little trick there uh, when you're trying to call that in a long beard on that. So again, that was our excited cutting, sometimes called excited clucking 
of the hen turkey on the uh, glass call. Very effective call in the spring, get that old gobbler fired up and uh, try that. And again, imitate the hen on that if you hear one doing that in the woods. So this has been a little demonstration on your glass call. It's Larry Case with the Trail Less Traveled.